You want a quick and easy way to create a website for free that doesn't require any code? Well then this video is for you. I'm Chanel Greco from Saperis and in this video I'll show you how you can create a website quick and easy by using Google Sites. As I mentioned before, we will be using Google Sites to create our website. Head over to gsuite.google.com and click on what's included and then on Sites. And you see this is the website builder, the no-code website builder provided by Google and it's part of Google's G Suite. Now you might be wondering what G Suite is. In that case, I've made a video about this where I not only cover what G Suite is, but also what tools are part of the suite and um, what benefits you and your team might have if you use G Suite. I'll be linking to the video right about now above. So do go ahead and have a look at that. If you do not have a G Suite account yet for yourself, for your team, or as a matter of fact, for your company. In my case, or in Jane Example's case, since we're using her account to um, create this video tutorial, we already have a G Suite account. So she's already logged in with that account, which makes it possible to open up a new tab and then click here on the Google Apps icon and then click on Sites. And when you're creating a new website using Google Sites, you actually have two separate possibilities. The first would be that you create a new site, a new blank site. There you go. And here you have the possibility to create your new website, hey, 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 whatever. Um, you have different layouts that you can choose from or super useful, you have themes that you can choose. And depending on the, on the theme that you choose, well, then you have different fonts, different colors, and just a different look and feel in general. Now that's if you're starting a new website from scratch super valuable. But what if you want to maybe build on something existing, you're pressed for time, and you just want to really quickly, let's say within 10 minutes, get your team's website up and running? Well, that's possible as well. Let's go back to where we were before. So we open up a new tab, we can click on the Google Apps or the waffle icon, and then on Sites. And what we'll now be doing is leveraging the power of templates. So let's expand the template gallery here and scroll down to, where was it? Here you go, salon. So there's a couple of different types of templates that you can have a look at and maybe another one um, will be fitting your needs better. So do have a look at that. So this is actually a pretty nice looking website you see here at and you just add your business name. So if you wanted to, you, you could just really within two minutes have your own website. But let's go in and adapt this just a little bit. Let's say uh, we're creating this for, I don't know, an, um, a web agency, an app agency, app creating agency. So we just say apps, your customers will love. So best service, the best apps. And this might not be the image you want as your header because we're an apps agency and not a hair salon. So let's click on change image. And I have some images somewhere. Let's go to Google Drive, um, share drives. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, here the home header, I'm just double clicking on that. and. This is pretty useful. You see these stars over here? If I click on it, it's going to take away the adjustment that Google Sites has added automatically. So it sees that this is quite light. And if I click on adjust for readability, it kind of like puts um, a layer on top of it, a darker layer, which makes our, um, our text, which is on top of our header image, better readable. So you can just go ahead and change all of this if you want to. Uh, you just click in here at, um, I don't know, Tech Cats. Our goal is to make you shine like a star, blah, 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 blah. Then you can choose your, uh, you can change your email address. Um, uh, oops, wait a minute. Probably kind of like hi at techcats.com, something like that. So that would be a possibility. Um, you see up here the navigation. 
you might want to use this template, but you don't want all these sub pages. Maybe you only want two. I don't know. So you can go ahead to pages and just say, okay, you know what? Uh, I don't know. Testimonials. Um, we don't need that. And it's gone. About. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and use that. But we need a different image. So here, the same thing. You just change the image. Uh, Google Drive. Uh, no, actually, shared drive. Here you go. About us. And then you have a nice team photo here, the tech ads experience. So in the end, this won't be the same page, obviously. We could leave this here, the whole team. By the way, leave me a comment below if you know this guy here. <laughs> I had to laugh when I saw him on this page. Um, yeah, so that's how you would adapt these websites to your need. Uh, you could add your logo. Now, I don't have a logo for them, but I could just go ahead and change this. Um, if you want to, you can also say, okay, I want this to make, I want to make this italic. Uh, you could make a link, you can insert a link and then have it jump off, I don't know, to the profile of the separate, uh, of your team members. That would be a possibility. So, um, this is just really, really quickly to show you um, how to use this. But I do actually, I did modify this and I created, let me go ahead and see if I can find it. Um, ba, 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 where is it? Oh, I can't find it. There you go. Sites slash demo dot so based on this tech heads, on this um, template that I showed you, it's really easy to modify. You just click in whatever is already there, change the images, change the text, obviously change out this, swap it out with your real name, with your company's name. And then you can make something like this that looks like a different site, looks like your own site, as a matter of fact. And, um, you know, you just add whatever you need to contact here too. You add your opening hours. If you have an office uh, that people can visit at, you change your Google Maps, um, the indication. And that's a super easy way. So I'm guessing you could have, you could create your team's website in about 10 minutes using this. And plus, so this is really, this is a live site. You can go over to um, sites, dash demo dot dot io and check out this site it's up and running and that also uh, proves the fact that this is a google site but it's my own domain so this is something you can configure um, you can have your own domain uh, domain which is accessible from outside of your company so this could be your company's website Create it totally for free. The only thing you have to pay is uh, you have to register your your address with an uh, with an uh, domain registrar. That's something that you do have to do, and you have to go ahead and change um, a configuration on your domain registrar. So that's something your admin would do. If you're interested in finding out how you can do that, well, why don't we now strike a deal? If I get 50 likes on this video, I'll go ahead and show you how you can do that. Because then we're literally talking about, I don't know, a cost of maybe $20 per year to have your team's website because the only thing you'll be paying for is, uh, is the domain registrar. So why don't you, um, you know, share this video with your friends if you're interested in doing what I just said, having a custom domain which is accessible from outside of your organization for a Google site, for example, your team site, or I don't know, maybe you're launching a new product or a new service and you want to test demand, but you don't want to, you know, pay a web developer a lot of money for him or her to create your site. Well, then just go ahead and use Google Sites and do it all on your own. It's easy. Check out my other video tutorials about the Google apps that are part of Google's G Suite. And would you mind subscribing to this YouTube channel? Because every week I publish new tutorial videos, how to videos on how you can automate Google Sheets, Gmail, and tips and tricks of these different tools. And I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of these video tutorials.